Good morning, everyone. Um, Luis Castillo. Um, today we're going to talk about uh, bifacial uh, solutions for Huawei solar inverters. Um, just uh, before we start, a brief description myself. Um, I have a background of mechanical engineering and sustainable power generation. Um, I've been in, in the renewable energy industry and the solar industry for around six years and at the moment I I work for Huawei as a senior solution manager in the UK so um, uh, before we enter specifically on the bifacial topic, uh, I would like to highlight some trends that we are currently looking at in the solar PV uh, industry. First of all, yes, uh, bifacial modules. Uh, we have seen that uh, this technology is uh, positioning itself to become the mainstream on the market. Um, uh, the main reason is because the prices of the bifacial model have been dropping and the the benefits in terms of yield are significant and that it's uh, uh, we're going to talk about it a little bit more in detail later um tracking systems as the prices the, the overall prices of the technologies in the, involved in the solar pv farm are dropping and there is more room to include this technology that was for sure that it's common in the places like in the Sombel region, like for example in Europe, in South Spain, so the single access trackers are, are a common solution, but in the northern part, for, for example, like the UK and Ireland, not so much, but in the last couple of years, we have been seeing uh, sites, large sites uh, in the megawatt scale that are incorporating these technologies. And then string inverter, uh, there has been a, overtaking of the inverter technology uh, compared to the central technology in the utility scale landscape. Uh, uh, we only see uh, last year and the last couple of years were pivot years where you could start seeing this, uh, the string inverter overtaking of the central and utility scale solutions. And we see this um, big, uh, this gap uh, increasing in the next couple of years. So um, now going specifically on the topic of today, uh, bifacial. Um, bifacial is um, been driving, um, or it's been a, a major for driving grid parity projects. Uh, as I was saying before, the main reason is uh, because the prices are dropping and the increments in yield are significant. As you know, bifacial, uh, the main concept is just uh, the the back side of the panel, the rear side of the panel will also uh, absorb some radiation and will increase the uh, uh, overall output of electricity. This um, output will depend in in different factors. Uh, one of them, the most significant, is, is the albedo. This will be the capacity of the surface of reflecting the uh, irradiation. Uh, for example, with grass, this will, could be around five to ten percent and with white surface, which, as we know, uh, reflects the most, the increment in yield could be over uh, around 39%. Um, so, uh, uh, initially, this, this technology has been around uh, for a while, uh, but at the moment, um, uh, at, the, at the time, like four or five years ago, uh, bifacial models were uh, expensive so the benefits in yield uh, were not uh, compensated uh, because of the high price of the module but uh, in the last uh, couple of years this has been decreasing to the point that the LCOE using bifacial modules could be lower than the one compared with monofacial um, the price at the moment uh, depending on the project the difference between a monofacial module or a bifacial module could be a couple of cents or less per watt specific price so 
this is what we see as the future of solar PV uh, utility scale projects uh, by facials, modules connected to trackers uh, when when possible, directly connected to string inverter, no combiner box uh, in the middle, then in, uh, string inverter slash string inverters connected to transformer stations. And then from this transformer station, large transformer stations like five, six MBA in order to reduce costs. Uh, and then you go to a step up the station. And on top of this, you should have a monitoring system that allow you to detect faults, uh, like the one we have, uh, like our IV curve diagnosis tool, which will allow you to do an, an IV curve test remotely for every single uh, string on site on a matter of minutes. And regardless if this is a monofacial or a bifacial string. So, um, however, uh, this technology comes with some challenges as well. As I was saying before, uh, the output of the bifacial module will depend uh, on different factors, but well, one of them could be the, the albedo. So, this will bring uh, a higher mismatch. Also, the the pitch and the height of the of the rack will uh, bring uh, another element of mismatch. So, the mismatch between between the strings and between the modules uh, will increase. So, this is it is very important to take this into account, and this makes it very very difficult to uh, simulate a a bifacial yield. Uh, then, uh, bifacial modules, they come with higher power output, but of this, on, this comes only with uh, an increase in the current. So, you need to have technology that is capable to absorb the, the largest current of bifacial modules with the bifacial gain in order to avoid um, clipping losses, for example. And another challenge is uh, to detect faults. Uh, they profile. The output profiles of a bifacial module is not as uniform um, compared with the monofacial. So <clears throat> um, you need to have uh, good uh, and accurate tools in order to det clearly detect a fault or if it's just uh, to differentiate a fault from a normal operation or uh, from a bifacial module due to uh, irregular soil or irradiation on the backside of the panel. So um, at Huawei, we have um, work and uh, seeing these trends, and uh, we have adapted our large generation of utility scale product in order to address the challenges. For example, we have inverters with mo multiple MPPTs and only two strings per MPPT. As I was saying, me, uh, the mismatch is it's going to be uh, higher compared to the monofacial, and it's uh, also important to take into account that now investors or owners of solar PV projects, they are not looking at 25 years, but instead uh, the lifetime of the project could be 30 or 35 uh, years. So the, mit the mismatch will increase with time due to the degradation of the module. So it, it is important that you have a uh, the capability to address this issue at the beginning of, of your lifetime in order to increase the profitability of the site. Then, um, uh, regarding the uh, output current, uh, our new generation of inverters, they can absorb 26 amps per MPPT. We have identified 26 amp as the a number that can allow to have a global product and <clears throat> avoid clipping losses in all of these areas and and still account for uh, a, a next generation of, of module, high power modules like 550, 570 watts uh, to go into the market, and we will be capable to uh, manage the two, two strings per MPPT. And finally, our smart uh, Ivercraft diagnosis tool will allow you to identify faults uh, in the strings and this our last generation incorporates the capability of identifying faults in bifacial modules and also when you are using white connectors 
which is a solution that we have seen uh, common in the market if you want to push the DCAC ratio. So uh, some design considerations well, when you are working with bifacial, um, the standard way of, or, of doing projects in specific locations might change because you might be used to doing certain racks a certain height, for example. But with bifacial module, this is one of the parameters that you would like to optimize. This is, for example, uh, uh, from a project that we did in, in Oman. Uh, increasing the height uh, of, of the rack will allow more radiation to go into the backside of, of the panel. However, as you know, uh, increasing the, the, the height, it will also increase the cost of the rust. So you want to find uh, a, a nice optimal point in order to, to select uh, the height in, in your project. For the pitch, it's the same. Um, uh, increasing the pitch will be uh, beneficial toward to toward your 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 bifacial configuration because you will allow to absorb more irradiation but it will come with uh, a more use of land and we know uh, specifically in places like the UK uh, or Ireland uh, land is very limited so you definitely want to optimize this value while taking into account as well the the, the height of the the height of the rack and in the video, it is important to, to try to do a good estimation of the video at the moment. And uh, this is that you have simulations tool, uh, like PVCs, for example, which is, is very well, but it's still uh, complicated to estimate uh, the albedo because the albedo will change uh, seasonally and um, uh, having accurate values for these. Uh, for the, for the different types of albedo, it is not easy. So wet grass will have a different albedo than dry grass, and this will be different in summer than in winter. So uh, for those of you who have the opportunity and are involved in pro project development and owning these projects, uh, I highly recommend to do sort of a test site. We have clients that have done this two, three years ago, and they are seeing the benefits now because they can accurately sort of estimate uh, or uh, know how what to expect from a bifacial configuration. So this is very valuable at the moment of you developing a project because you will know what could clearly what could be the benefits of, of the bifacial side. So ideally what you want to do is uh, optimal, uh, find the optimal point between high pitch and tilt. Uh, tilt in the case of fix, but if it's tracker, uh, this won't be the case, but find the optimal point between these three variables in order to uh, reduce the LCOE. So um, now some, some reference that we have, this is one of our test sites in China. It's, it's compare uh, bifacial modules and trackers with Huawei inverters, this is mono, monofacial modules and trackers uh, and central inverters. As you can see, the the increase in yield it's it's over ten percent. This is a test uh, we have been following closely, and we are very confident on the result. Additionally, we have, uh, like I said before, a couple of clients that venture on some tests uh, a couple of years ago they are seeing the benefits now uh, i can tell you that we have seen results like between 10 and 14 percent uh, in the uk increase of the yield of a, a monofacial uh, sorry a bifacial string connected to our string inverter compared to a monofacial string connected to the same inverter so it is very very significant and the pr uh, on some of the bifacial sites, it's uh, around one percent. So you can see the uh, the clear benefit on, on this technology in the UK. This is for a reference. Uh, one of our our largest reference site uh, for for bifacial is in Mexico. It was commissioned last last year. Um, it's uh, two hundred twenty megawatts in capacity with our hundred kTLH one. 
and it is it's uh, the results so far the performance it's it's a very good and finally uh, moving forward uh, we are we are going to incorporate in our next generation of inverters uh, what we call smart dc system in order to optimize the tracking algorithm in complex scenario this will allow to to uh, tracking of every single row independently and it will take for example into consideration because when you do this of course the mismatch between the strings could increase but this will also be taken into account within the algorithm so you will you can be assured that you will find the optimal uh, position for each uh, for each tracker because when using bifacial and trackers uh, and and more, moreover, within complex uh, landscapes, uh, not necessarily following the the sum path is is the the best way to to get the higher yield. So when you play independently with trackers, you could uh, optimize this. We have we have also some tests in China that we have compared this in by no including hardware only by changing the the software and the tracking algorithm you could see in, increase in yield of around one percent which is very significant because you have no you don't need to do an, an extra investment so this is all where we are focusing in the future and we we have uh, seen very promising results 